This is fun. So Jesus said, know the truth and the truth will set you free. Well, what is the truth? The truth is, I am God. Say that with me. I, I am, am God. God. I am God man. I am the Christ consciousness. We are masters. We do not need to look out here for what it is that we want because it's installed, guys. It's like you guys are a brand new computer and you've got all these really cool programs that are already ready to go. You just got to put your fingers on the keys and watch it whirl. You know, as I'm reading these books, these books were written 100 years ago and they didn't even have radio then or, or Henry Ford was just putting Model T's out on them. Ground. And yet, the words say they're so modern, they're so up-to-date. And even Jesus, the, the vibrational frequency of what Jesus was teaching, he says, do you get it, how amazing it is that his teachings are even so, are so still, so exciting to hear because of the frequency that they hold? <coughs> so, we are divine. We are divine love. We are divine supreme intelligence. We are the Christ. We are God men. We are abundance. I hear myself say sometimes, I want abundance. No. I am abundance. We are success. We are the intelligence that brings success to us. And we are perfection. So Spirit showed me that our negative thoughts are like, if you'll, you know, have you ever played, you know, when you're children and your mom and dad have one of those little projectors and they shot it on you and you're making rabbits and whatnot in the light? But that if they were showing old movies, if you stood in front, the movie would play on you? <laughs> that is what our negative thinking is. Spirit showed me that our bodies are the divine temples of God absolutely perfect. They are no they are no older than nine months old. And we project old age onto the body. Who told us that? I'd like to get them in, I don't know. <laughs> 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 I have pain in my hips, and I thought, okay, I have to own this, that I have resistance to and have created a story around my pain, my hip should hurt because I had that accident in 1995, but it is in the projection, it lives in the projection over my perfection. It is not real. And if I can bring myself up to that consciousness level, I can change all of that and have every plan to, <laughs> by the way. We have allowed ourselves to become accustomed to conditions that aren't real. It is the condition that man imposes on himself that causes his pain. We must be so diligent and disciplined about making sure that we do not utter a negative word. It is so easy to do. I, you know, I catch myself, I'm so very grateful. I, I've had some problems recently with a, with a teacher. <laughs> and uh, and I, I looked at her one day and, I, and Spirit said, it is, your per, it is your projections that is causing this issue. This is completely you. And I just, it shifted, it shifted completely because I could see that she was out of love for me. She was willing to stand there to be the bad guy so I could be healed. You see? So one of the things that we need to do is to hold God very, very close to us. And a, an assignment for you this week. If you will, even right now, we can do it right now in this room. It's easy because we all love each other. Is to look in somebody's eyes and say, you are God, I am God, and I am God, and you're looking at the Christ in each and every single person that you see. I am God. Your cat jumps into your lap, I am God. This cat is God. The coffee you drink, 
You ever sat and looked at your hand or your body and just like, holy mackerel. I mean, it is, you, this is the perfect temple of God. And it is merely my negative thinking that says it is not so. It is not the reality. Can we be masters? Can we change things on a dime? It is what we invest energy in that makes our problems. Do you think that if we spent, if Buddha says, I'll put it right, I'll start it right now. Buddha said, to give five minutes to the realization of the true divine love is greater than to pass a thousand bowls of food to the needy. In giving forth love, you help every soul in the universe. And it is like that when you meet someone who is pure positive energy. You see within themselves, you see this light that absolutely flows through you. And you know that you're healed. I know, I'm beginning to understand, I never quite understood what treatment was about, but I think I'm beginning to understand that Jesus and healers all over the world, spiritual healers who understood their perfection and understood their divinity, could look through your projection of negativity and understand and see the perfection that is you. And in that moment, your negativity, your little projection, could no longer stand in that kind of light. And I was thinking in terms of one years, years and years ago, my dad and I, we took our sailboat down to Key West, and I lived down on the islands for a year. And we were, it was a, absolutely one of the most beautiful, most out of a novel kind of nights I've ever experienced. But we were on the Gulf, and it was an incredible starlit night, and we were rolling with the waves, and, and there was a little ball of light on the coast. I don't, it could have been 50 miles away. And he pointed to it and he told me, he said, Jenny, that's Key West. And I was thinking, here is this gorgeous night. And the light shines. I can see that little city 50 miles away on the ocean. But the light from the stars, how many thousands or millions or billions of light years, and that light pierces that darkness so that you and I can see it at night? That is the penetrating quality of the light of what we are. So who am I? Say with me. I am God. Let us own our divinity. Do not seek your mastery outside of each other. When you engage in a person or a plant or your food or looking at your body, know that you are universal perfection that we are expressing God through us every moment of the day. And be diligent, really focus people on not allowing negativity to enter your mind. And it's going to be work. I've been working on it two years. I'm so much better at catching myself. It's only minutes now where I didn't even notice it before. <clears throat> but it's now it's minutes. It's like, oops, I don't like the way this feels. And I sort of, because of my issues of when I was a child, I separated myself from my, my feelings. It's taken me a long time to understand what it was I was feeling. And anger and, you know, all kinds of stuff. I didn't, it's like, what is that? You know, I, I didn't even know what that was. But now I'm, I'm fine-tuning my feelings. So it's like, oops, I'm going a little, too, a little further over here. And just... And one of the things that Abraham says that I really like is that if you're in despair, if you find yourself in despair, <coughs> you, you can find a way to feel better, even if it means that you think about revenge. Because revenge is a more energetic feeling than despair, isn't it? <coughs> and don't you laugh? I mean, if I think about what I, what somebody that I have a, a negative issue with, <coughs> And I think about something I'd like to see happen to them. You know, it's, isn't that making fun? I mean, it's kind of.